guys, and thanks for joining me today. I just ordered nine different blinds for my main floor from American Blinds, and you can read my review of American Blinds on my blog, thoughtfullylovely.com. Uh, but I thought today I would just show you guys how to install the blinds. I already have a helper um, chewing open the box for me, so, you know, that might take her a little bit longer than the way that I would do it, so maybe we can work together and get that done. So I thought I would just open the uh, box for you guys and see, see how it's packaged so well. So this came FedEx. And this is my longest blind to install, so I might need a little bit of help. And I just wanted to show you how well that these blinds are packaged and why I love them so much. So this is a, a one, it's two blinds on one rod. So they come in a really nice box, bubble wrap, and completely wrapped up really well in plastic wrap so that they don't get ruined. Now this is an extremely large one and I'm, I'm gonna try to hang this by myself, but I might need another set of hands. But you can see that it is wrapped really well and all of the parts come in a separate box. So I am going to unwrap it. All right, so you can see that it's wrapped really well. It's rubber banded, rubber bands on the ends to keep them from unraveling. And also uh, has a saran wrap around it to keep it also from unraveling. Now this is a really large blind. Like I said, it's one header and two different blinds for my large window in my craft room. In the last video I posted, the first part of this uh, two-part series, I had mentioned that it was really important to label your uh, measurements in your cart for which windows, uh, which shades went to which windows. And that's because here they have labeled this craft room and given me the measurements. So it makes it really easy to know that obviously these shades go in the craft room. So that's why it is so important to put that on there. So these are the blinds that I had installed already. And I think that they are a beautiful color. I love the way that they hang. They hang perfectly in perfect order. Not all Roman shades hang like that. And I love that they included a valance with each shade to hide the header bar, hide the hardware. So I opted for cordless shades because I didn't want to have any strings hanging down in my windows. This is our main floor. They're very simple to pull down. And to take them back up, you simply push with your hand. It costs a little bit extra, but I figure these are going to be in our uh, main floor for a really long time, if not forever. So I opted to just pay a little extra money. I also had these lined. Now, if you didn't order these lined, they would be see-through, and I will show you an example of that. That will not see-through, but the light would be able to come through. It would diffuse the light, but they wouldn't be blackout. Now, these are blackout shades because we watch TV in this room, and we wanted to be able to see the TV during the day uh, if we wanted to watch a movie or if the news is on and the sun was just too bright, we uh, opted for blackout shades. Now here are two shades that I ordered with no liner. And you can see the sun set setting and the lights outside. These are lights outside and you're seeing the dusk sky there. Um, so these are, diffuse, they diffuse the light but you can definitely see through them unlike the ones that are, are lined, fully lined. And these two, I had to order with the pull strings because I couldn't order this particular size without a pull string. I think because they're 82 inches long, I had to have a string. So my other windows are 72 inches long and these are 82, so that may be why. I actually didn't ask. This particular header, um, I'm gonna have three 
metal clips. So I've installed the first two and I simply measured over three and a half inches and I drilled into the top of the window frame. And I did the same thing here in the middle area. So I measured over to the center and I again drilled into the top of the window frame. Now if you were installing these on an outside mount, because I am installing these on an inside mount, but if you were installing them on an outside mount, you would uh, install them on the wall or onto the frame above the window. But since I'm doing an inside mount, I'm going to drill up in the top of those metal clips instead of these holes here, not, not these. You're gonna install on the top. And I'm going to simply install the same clip over here. You can see my mark. I measured in three and a half inches and I'm simply going to drill my uh, metal clip into the top of the frame. Now on these shades, they have three metal pieces. One, two, three. These are going to line up with your clips. One, two, three. You're simply going to lift up the uh, shades. I'm going to need another set of hands because this is so long, it's heavy. But this piece is going to clip into the front first. And then you're going to push the back up into the clip. And that should make it nice and tight. All right, so I have this hung. I called my son in to help me. And um, you can see that I have two blinds on one header. It has a nice valance that goes across. And these two have the strings and they just lift beautifully. And again, it has that really nice Roman shade. It really hangs very nicely. I'll put it back down. These are lined. And uh, that is the end result. And they're just beautiful. And I love them for their quality. I love them for the swiftness in which I received them. And I'm very, very pleased with my purchase from American Blinds.